Welcome back to this week's episode of Guns Explained, brought to you by Salt Lake Wholesale Sports. We're doing something a little fun, a little bit crazy, and a little bit that you shouldn't try at home. Jordan, what are we doing today? We're gonna get our danger side on just a little bit. We are going to set ammunition on fire, but before you start to get overly concerned, it's not that crazy. We always think about ammunition as this extremely hazardous, sometimes, you know, spontaneously combusting and neighborhood demolishing entity, and it's not. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set it on fire. We're gonna show exactly what happens. Cameron, why is that okay? It's okay because what makes a bullet come out of the end of a barrel at lethal force is the pressure contained with inside that barrel. The thing about brass is that uh, as you can see from this one, we actually did do this already in a very, very controlled setting uh, where there was no danger to anybody. And what happens when there is no barrel to keep the brass contained and help the brass keep its shape, the brass just explodes. And, and a lot of the pressure poofs out of the brass with no projectile, while the bullet, it does travel, but it doesn't travel at lethal speeds. You know, I remember growing up, one of my uh, grandparents would say that if you light a firecracker off in your hand, it'll burn your hand, but if you close your fist around a firecracker, it'll blow a finger off. Is that kind of what we're talking about here? Exactly the same principle. The lack of, out, the lack of pressure pushing uh, outside or from the outside into the brass uh, makes it so that instead of all the pressure pushing the bullet out of the barrel, the pressure actually just comes through the brass and sends the, the bullet skittering somewhere. Okay, so once again, don't try this at home, but nevertheless, we're gonna prove to you that ammunition is not going to suddenly blow up and, and destroy your house. If there is a fire, you're gonna hear a lot of whizzing, a lot of popping, things like that. We are going to be safely behind barriers just in case, but we're gonna show you that uh, we're gonna to find tons of projectiles all around the ground. It's not gonna travel hundreds of yards away. It's gonna stay within the immediate radius of where we are. And uh, we'll give you some great footage. Thank you so much for joining us and let's light some stuff on fire. Let's do it. Here we go. Paid professionals, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do what you gotta do, man. Oh, there we go. I didn't feel any contact. Oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I crouched down a little bit. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm hearing it way over there. Yeah. You know gelatin was flammable? Or that gelatin, I should say? Actually, we got to recertify this if we use it, don't we? I'm not sure. Yeah. Holy oh, shoot. Okay, right. so. That was gelatin! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to keep you between me and the fire. With the experiment concluded in a, in a very scientific way, uh, we did put a ballistic gel right next to the ammo that we lit on fire because we wanted to have kind of a, a definitive statement on whether you know, because I use the word non-lethal as ter in terms of the velocity. We wanted to test that and make yeah. sure that I wasn't lying to you. So what do we see here, Jordan? All right. Well, definitely an owl. Yeah. If something uh, did happen. But aside from the debris, it looks like we got a piece of brass that could potentially have stuck in the leg. Probably the furthest penetrating piece when I turn it sideways is we got a brass shard right here. Went about the uh, distance of my finger in there. So that's definitely an owl. That's something that could have got stuck in a leg or a hip or something like that. Oh, for sure. But definitely not even close to life-threatening. Okay. Maybe two or three inches. And we know that the outer layer of human tissue is a lot tougher and thicker 
than the inner layers. Now this is meant to simulate human tissue kind of on the whole, but uh, just penetrating that outer layer, a lot of this stuff that we're looking at up front, the debris, even some of these little tiny metal shards would have just would have just been dirt on us, but uh, hmm. yeah, definitely a definitely a couple of pieces that actually went in. But I would say nothing went beyond about two or three inches in. So the key message here is, like we said at the beginning, don't do this, <laughs> or yeah, don't do this because don't do this at all. it will hurt. It will hurt if it if it gets you, uh, and it could penetrate your skin. It could go an inch or two into you, which is not a good thing. Uh, will you die? Probably not, but again, you don't, nope. it's, it's not something you want to do. Did it demolish the uh, entire area we were in? No. Well, it'd be kind of hard to tell. It was yeah. kind of desolate. It was a little him, desolate. But, but no, I mean, and, and we were hiding behind these plywood boards here. We, we know that it was, the boards were hit by some rounds. We could feel them. We could hear them hitting the yep. board, but we could not find uh, indications of where they hit afterwards. We were looking at the board. We looked at it very closely. We could not find anything in a normal round a normal velocity would have gone straight through the boards let alone leaving a mark so and looking here just at where the fire was you can see that a lot of the rounds that did ignite and go off a lot of the projectiles and brass are still right here i mean there is piles oh, you're right yeah. of separated projectiles and brass so we've got you know projectiles loose here um projectiles brass all these that uh, kind of oh, blend yeah, in with yeah. the debris are just pieces of our little experiment. So most of it didn't uh, didn't take off in any particular direction or distance. Most of it just stayed where it was. Now I'm sure as we scout around, we'll be able to find some that uh, took off a few feet away. Um, but uh, yeah. So if you see a movie where they throw, where the, the main character throws yeah. <laughs> ammo in a fire or like a skillet or, and it turns on the heat on the skillet and it kills a bunch of people, they're foolish. Probably not true. I think that's a good closing line. Yeah. Guns explained. Yeah. Guns, Guns explained. explained. Hashtag Salt Lake Wholesale Sports. Boom.